Hossein Dirachan is known to many as Iran's blog father for kick-starting the country's blogging revolution. On December 30th, Iran's judiciary confirmed his detention. The 34-year-old Iranian-Canadian is held on charges related to insulting Islam's religious figures. This move is only the latest in a series of government attempts to tighten the grip on nearly 400,000 active bloggers in the country. A bill which overwhelmingly passed in the Iranian Majlis on its first reading in July 2008 further tightens that squeeze. It applies the death penalty to web crimes that threaten, quote, society's moral security. These are activities promoting prostitution, corruption, or apostasy. It is a bill simply put in place to alert the media and other members of civil society that are blogging and sending out information that it will not tolerate anyone going against the government line. And to monitor online content and impose penalties for Internet offenses, Tehran's Prosecutor General, Saeed Murtazavi, announced on December 10th the formation of a special prosecutor's department for Internet crimes. The following day, the Paris-based press freedom group Reporters Sans Frontières, RSF, condemned this move. It stated, quote, Mortazavi's decision is indicative of the Internet situation in Iran, under control and regarded as a dangerous area. Besides the detention of Dirachshan, the end of 2008 witnessed more bloggers behind bars. According to RSF, Ismail Jafari of Boucher was sentenced on charges of, quote, anti-government propaganda and disseminating information abroad. Additionally, the editor of the Azarzan blog, Shahnaz Ghulami, has been imprisoned since November 9th in the northwestern city of Tabriz. And in October, Mushtaba Lutfi from Qum ended up in prison. Nevertheless, many Iranians, including Farnaz Saifi, keep on blogging. It's a very um, popular concept, especially uh, for youths. I think that um, it's a good path to, you know, practice democracy. Because, for example, you see that there are, you have so many readers who are against you and so many readers um, who disagree with you. So you start talking with them, um, good discussions happen. I think it's really a good way to practice democracy. The judiciary once blocked Safi's popular blog, and nearly 1,000 web blogs are blocked every month. They're all required by law to provide their contact and web content information for the government to monitor. Otherwise, they and their internet service providers are suspended and face criminal charges.